Hey everybody, Heck your eyes here. Welcome back to Project Zomboid, Killing Sean Hilton, Part 29. So, I harvested the carrots. They were available for harvest. Replanted those. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to... I want to go go out to the traps and replace the cabbage with uh, some some carrots. So, let's go do that. Now, I also have... I'm a little hungry here, so... I have a stir-fry waiting for us here. Just gonna throw that into the oven. This is a, a day after our last episode. So I did a lot of organizing, red tailoring for beginners. I have first day for beginners out here. I don't really need to read this, I don't think, but if I have free time and a little bit of time to kill, I might as well just do that to say that we've got everything all maxed out with our uh, multiplier. So that's the only thing that we're lacking right now. Also leveled up, when I harvested those, I leveled up farming the farming level 3. But we still have the multiplier going on at 5 right now, so that's fine. Today I'd like to go fishing. And the weather's supposed to be good. Clear skies, no air activity detected. So I have a spot picked out. It's not too far away. It's in a little gated community, and one of the houses has a pond. I don't know if it's a pond that's going to be big enough for fish. I don't know if that matters or not. But uh, let's check it out. As soon as we have breakfast here. So let's get started here. Heat that up. Turn that off. There we go. Let's eat about half of this. See where we're at. Alright, good. You know what? I think I'll... Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this here. Leave that for the remainder of the day. There's going to be a few houses around there. I figure I could just probably eat whatever I find. Sort of snack as we go. I do need to grab the fishing gear. Oh, I also created another crate out here. I built another crate because this one was full. And I had a shovel from our raid or somewhere. Somewhere we looted an extra shovel. And I wanted to put it in there just to keep things organized. And not just start leaving stuff on the ground. Uh, so let's take a fishing trap. That's That net trap's not going to be for actual fish that we eat, like that we really want to keep, you know. It's going to be for catching bait fish, basically. Uh, fishing rod? Yeah. Uh, some fishing line? Sure. Uh, I'm guessing two should be a good starting point there. Uh, let's see here. What else can we got? We got some worms. Let's take these worms. And I think that's all we should need. I'm not going to take fishing tackle because our, uh, you know, let's take one extra fishing line. I'm not going to take any tackle because early on, I guess, the chance of breaking your line is pretty high. And when you lose those fishing tackle, they're gone forever. Whereas if you lose a worm, you just dig around until you find more worms. Let me make sure I can dig. Okay, I can dig with whatever we got here. What do I have here? Oh, I got the pickaxe. That will allow us to dig. Okay, good deal. So, let's get going here. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? Uh -huh. Alright, so yeah, it's really pretty close. Whoa! So this is a huge zombie horde, apparently. Alright, we might have to do a little clearing out here in the near future. Because they're getting a little... They're drifting a little close to home. A little, a little too close for comfort. I think it's partially my fault for driving through this area. I'm trying to keep everybody up to this top side of the road for the return journey. Try to get them all to kind of come up here and linger around. They, they don't like to be bunched up, so they will tend to spread out on their own, but... This is uh, my little turnoff here, and uh, might have to do a little. This is an unexplored area. We haven't been back here before. I guess we could have cut through the neighborhood, honestly. Oh, and I forgot to go bait the traps. That's okay. They should be fine. Might, we could check those maybe later to later in the episode. Got so excited. All right, so here's our little turnoff here. This might be a good little place for a base. You just put like one wall here and one wall here, or a gate or something. Have it pretty well walled off, but. 
Oh, this is burned out. Looks like we do have some uh, activity here. So we'll have to take care of this. This is this is the lake I'm talking about here. Or the pond. I don't think you can really call that a lake. But uh, let's hop out here. Deal with the neighbors. Who we got? A sh oh, we got an officer here? Huh. Maybe private security or something. This shouldn't be too difficult to deal with, but I would like to have it pretty well cleared out, especially if we're going to advance time or something like that. Now, you can use spears, from what I understand, to fish as well. I've never fished in this game, ever. So, this is going to be a, a learning experience for me, for sure. As I try to get an eyelash out of my eye. I try not to get eaten at the same time. There we go. Much better. What do you got in you? A little hunting knife? Is that what it is? Yeah, you brought me a hunting knife. All right, let's go uh, wander around the, this area. I had a feeling I might need to do this. Ah, garden gnome. Right for the taking. All right, come on, guys. Hey, 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 over here. Let's not kill everybody in the... I want to try to squeeze through here a little bit. I don't want to kill him down here while I'm going to be driving, so... Someone was asking in the comments, it would be nice if you could speed up your walking speed in the settings so you don't have to turn around and run away like that. And you can actually, well you can't do it in the settings as far as I know, yeah, you probably can. Everything in this game is pretty granular when it comes to settings. But the way that you would naturally do it in a game is you actually leveling up nimble. So this is being able to walk backwards faster is your nimble skill. What you got? Dude? What kind of axe is that? Let me see what that is. I'm interested in that. Hand hatchet. I don't think those are very good. So, oh, it's a uh, bushcraft gear. Oh, well, I'll take it since it's part of the mod. You see it down there in the blue. Yeah, we'll take that. What is this? Barrel dog's leather jacket. That seems like a unique item. I don't remember seeing that before. All right. There we go. Dismantle the watch for no particular reason. All right, let's go down here and see if we can figure out how to do this fishing thing. Yeah, we got the gardener here. Poor gardener. This might not even be a zombie. It might just be the gardener. How bad would that be to sneak up behind the gardener and put a machete into the head and then realize, wait a minute, he, he doesn't really look like he's been zombified. So, I would think that this might be a good house to take over. Because all these fences should be indestructible. So you just have to build a wall here. You got a big forest over here. Um, yeah, I think this would probably be a pretty neat house. Let's go in here and check out the kitchen at the very least. I'll check out the bookcase. I pretty much have everything I need, but... Uh, bread dough, I've already read that one, as you can see. First aid, yeah. Take the newspaper. Nice big TV. We already have one of those. That plant might be nice to take with us, but... Uh, maybe later. We got other things to focus on. Cereal up here, maybe? Have any cereal? We got juice. Juice box and a pop. Take that. Uh, marinara. All that stuff's good. Chocolate, marinara, pasta. Canned corn. Kind of you know what? Let's take that. I put it in the wrong spot. That's okay. We can fix that real easy right there. Oh, pancake. Wow, everything in this house is pretty good except for that bread. So I'll definitely take the pancake mix and the honey. For sure. Lovely. And uh, let's go and get a drink out of here. Fill our canteen up. It doesn't look like it needed any fill up. It looks like we got some sort of pot of something on here on the on the stove. Pot of bowl of soup, fresh uncooked. I can't believe that, but saucepan with rice, rotten uncooked. Well, I think we should probably put the pot of soup in here right away and cook that. Oven. Oh yeah, we can't do that because it's uh, the power's out. 
Well, we'll carry that with us. Uh, flour gravy mix. Definitely take those. I hear a zombie nearby. I turned the music off so that maybe you guys could hear the zombie sounds easier as well. Plus, I don't know if something happened in this last update. I don't know why I just didn't hit loot all. But it, it seems like the music, at least... Maybe I just need to restart the game. Maybe it's just a one-time thing. But it was like overlapping music tracks. So I turned the music off because of that, too. Rotten, rotten, rotten pickles. Ah, oh, I thought that was going to be it. I get excited. All right, let's go find this. I think he's out back. I think he's outside. Yeah, I can hear him crunching in the... Take that bleach, though. There we go. We got here. Anything worthwhile? Little sheep duct tape. Take the duct tape. Little sheets. I can get those pretty much anywhere, but I will go ahead and take it. Throw it in the truck. Just for good measure. Gravel bags. And a needle. Take the needle. All right, let me go ahead and open this up here. Go find this zombie. He's around here. Oh, we got a few of them. You can see how the bushes and grass and everything's starting to get overgrown as time progresses and nobody's mowing their lawns anymore. More so, yeah, that happens. Take some vitamins. Always good for a little pep in our step. A little extra energy if we get tired. Yeah, it's a pretty cool backyard too here, this little patio. I like this little glass wall with a railing. Oh, I guess you got your own little miniature forest here too. So you could actually grab a lot of these trees to make the wall. This this would be a pretty good house. I'll show you where it is here on the map overall. So this is Nashville. Or I keep calling it Nashville. Louisville. I think I think you guys are just gonna have to deal with that. I don't think I'm gonna ever learn that this is not Nashville on the first attempt. So that's where it's at, in case you're wondering. Two forty p.m. Not the best time to try to catch fish. I think they're most active during certain hours, like in the in the morning and in, and in, in the evening. Uh, just like you know, pretty much like real life. But uh, let's see here. Let's throw this in the truck. Uh, I got some carrots. Don't need those. I I, I, I guess I did bring the carrots. Yeah. Okay, we might we might bait those when we get on the way home. Let me just grab pretty much all this stuff, throw it in the truck bed. All this stuff here. That's a lot of food actually from one house. Minus the worms. We need those. And the bleach, if it'll hold still for a second. There we go. Duct tape can go over there. Metal sheet can go over there. Got plenty of room, obviously. Hand hatchet. Newspaper. I think we're good. We'll have a cigarette before we start. Otherwise, he's going to get anxious. And let's get the fishing line. All this stuff in there, our primary inventory. All right. Let's go down here and do a little bit of fishing. Hopefully. Watch this not be available here. Fishing. Fishing rod. Choose catch bag. Main inventory for now. Worm. Fishing abundant. 100%. So it looks like you can pressure an area. And, uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's see what we can do here. How cool. I'm excited. Oh, hold on. I need to action. I didn't know you couldn't move. Oh, here comes the zombie. Hey, not cool, dude. Not cool. All right, I'm going down there. I'm going down here. There we go. Let's try this again. Did I catch anything? I wonder. I wonder if it'll announce it or anything. So we used up a worm. 
I don't think I caught anything yet. Oh, there's a worm. No, no, we haven't used it up. It's still there. All right, let's keep going. I if I can use this. Hmm. Maybe I'll figure that out later. Right now we have worms. Oh, yeah. Fishing with a... Fishing with a helicopter helmet and a military backpack. We can, oh, something happened with our weight. I think we caught something. Oh, it went down by one by five percent. What do we catch? A small pike. Ooh, this is neat. I like it. I guess spear fishing is supposed to be faster, but so far I kind of like this. There we go. We caught something else. Big catfish. Oh, here it is. Okay. I see it now. You can also tell when the fishing abundance drops as well. Crappie. Big catfish. Small pike. It says this little pond has a lot of interesting fish. I'm ready to pause at... The first, the first time we see a zombie pop up, so don't worry. Socks. We caught some socks. <laughs> Not a boot yet, but some socks. Did that actually lower the pressure? Like, the socks? No lure found, so we must have lost our lure. Alright, and we lost it on whatever fish that was. But we got, uh, we got some good fish so far. Big catfish, big crappie, small crappie, small pike. All right, how's our how's our fishing skill doing too? Let me see. Let's see where's fishing? I think we already had a little bit of fishing still skill, so I don't think yeah. So um yeah, so it. One oh eight out of three hundred, is where we're at for level three. So let's see if we can. Do this again. Did I use up all my? I probably used up all my worms. If I had to guess, probably automatically. So there's my damage, and my condition's great. Oh, that's for, like, using it as a weapon, smacking a zombie with a <laughs> with a fast action rod. All right. Uh, we're going to drop these socks. And we're going to go dig for some worms. I'm, I'm going to also try to use the net, too. See here. Get any worms yet? I don't think so. Probably have to equip this as a primary, as a net, to use it. Place fishing net. Uh let's move it over here a little bit. A little bit away from where we're doing our fishing. I think if we leave it here, we'll come back and we'll have some bait fish maybe the next day or something. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and dig some furrows just to get some, get a couple worms. And maybe we'll come back out tomorrow and try this again. But so far, yeah, very good. Yeah, this would be a great house to live in, wouldn't it? Got your own little, little pond for fishing occasionally. Obviously, you can't overfish. I wonder if you can overfish the river. And I w if if so, I wonder how far you have to go away from the area to go into a like an unpressured area, like what the radi effect radius is for that. Gonna be all tired by the time I get done here. Probably need to get these fish in the. Probably need to get these fish in the. Uh, freezer as soon as possible. Alright, this will be the last one. Hopefully I got some worms. Let's see, three worms. All that digging. Three worms. Well, we'll be ready for it tomorrow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave uh, a fishing rod, my line, my worms, 
be funny if they like sneaked off. <laughs> they just like left. But I'm gonna leave that all right here on the on the ground. That way I don't have to remember to bring it all back. All right, good deal. I, I think we did pretty good, honestly. It's 19, 27. That small pike, the first one we got right there was that was that's the best one for hunger so far. All right, let's get going here. Let's get these carrots in the traps. Check the traps. Uh, driving through some trees. That's what slowed, slowed us down there. Some little saplings slowed us down a little bit there. But uh, not a bad little fishing hole. And we only pressured it, what, 20%, 15%, something like that? Not too bad. All right, let's see what we got here. Hopefully we got some more meat to add to the fridge. Uh, nope, does not look like it. Does not look like it. Whoa, don't hit, don't hit the uh, crates. I'm sure that's not good for them. All right, let's bait these up. The bait might be gone in these, for all I know. Yeah, probably is. That's probably why we're not getting much action. Oh, we're out of bait. Okay, well, these three are baited. Is there actually bait in here? Remove trap? No. Yeah, so three carrots. Well, I got... Maybe there is bait in this one still. Why won't it let me add a carrot? Let me uh, remove the trap and then replace it. Well, put it back down again. Oh, still won't let me add any carrots, even though I have three fresh ones right here. Seems odd. Okay. Don't think we're going to catch anything in that one. These three, I have hopes for. All right, let's head on back to the house. Not much luck with the trapping. Pretty good luck with the fishing. We can have some fish stir fry. But for the time being, I'm going to freeze them all up. So we got a little bit of rabbit meat. We got a little bit of fish meat. Well, I think we still have some ham. I know we have ham. Nope. Don't hit a tree instead of hitting a zombie. That's not never a good choice. Um, and then we also have some minced meat in there. Some ground beef, basically. And that's fresh and frozen and all that. So all in all, definitely, definitely a good day. Plus we got all the canned food that we're bringing back. It's nice. And we haven't even checked those other houses yet. I think one of them's completely burned out, so I don't expect to find a whole heck of a lot there. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. I'm going to switch out the carrots for the uh, cabbage next time. For the uh, for the traps. Let's see, let me grab all this stuff. 16 pounds worth? Okay. We fit all that in the military backpack? Maybe. Alright, there we go. Okay. Let's get the uh, fish in here as quickly as possible. Have any room in here? Maybe not enough. I should designate the, the, these as food. That's what I should do. Configure container. Probably won't let me do it while I'm transferring. There we go. All right, let's do food for this one. There we go. And I think I have to do this one separately. Yes. Okay. Make transferring a little bit easier. So I should have all this canned food in here. There we go. Yeah, nice. And pickles, I'm going to put those in here for the time being. 
what else? Do I want to put anything else in here? I don't know. I don't think chocolate goes bad, but it would, probably wouldn't hurt. Let's uh, freeze this bowl of soup upstairs. Or you know what? We could probably eat it tonight. Let's just eat it tonight. Let's do that. It's always fun to try something new in, in the zomboid world. It's even more fun when it's successful. And that was that was a pretty good one. Bowl of soup, there we go. Let's get this heated up. Alright, let's eat eat all this. Let's see how much that changed. It, it did give it a little bit of a bump for hunger. Thirst, unhappiness, yeah. Alright. Let's drink all of it. We'll have a smoke. Probably go outside, read a little bit of the uh, first aid for beginners until it's maybe about 1 or 2 in the morning. Empty bowl. We'll put that, uh, I think this is it. Yeah. Add it to our collection here. This is getting pretty full, honestly. Got a lot of... Because uh, I, I do have some food mixed in here. Man, this one's getting full, too. It's a good problem to have. Wow. Kind of running out of cabinet space. Well, let's put what we can up here. Normally, I do this off camera, but this, this should not take too long. And it's not going to get all of it, but we'll get some of it. Okay, that's maxed out. First world apocalypse problems right here. Yeah. Might need to put a little crate somewhere. Back here or something. Just for canned food. Or I could do that downstairs. I could actually take all the canned food and put it all downstairs. Might do that in between episodes. In our little storage war room area. Just have all the canned food down in like two crates or something. Might be a pain to run down there and get a can of food, but it, at least it'll keep things organized and sort of freed up up here. Uh, I do have this bleach, and I thought there was bleach up here. It belongs up here. It does. And I don't think that's going to fit. Yeah, it's not going to fit. Pasta, will you fit? Nope. Will you fit anywhere? Nope. Refrigerators, but we're not going to put you in the refrigerator. All right, guys. I'll mess around with this and get this sort of figured out in between episodes. But uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in episode 30. 30 episodes. Y'all take care.